are currently playing. But um, yeah, this map should be going live reasonably soon. Um, some players just mess around in the uh, the little warm up section as I just heard one team go ready. We'll uh, wait for that second team and we will get this second map underway. So here we go then. This is E2F2L Season 18 Map 2 of Rocket vs BFF. We are the Nilla TV's Arx and Beta bringing you this matchup with Ari doing the camera work and the harder job. This is CP Gullywash with Arx running you to this first mid. Warhai, yeah, not taking sticky that time, but taking three neat scattergun shots as uh, he's forced out of the fight for the time being. Clockwork does go down as punishment though. And uh, we'll just have to see as Zebosai and Starkey do go down. Three plays down Ooh. for BFF, but Admire Bullet is down in return. Are oh, Rocket going to be able to push forward and get this medic? Zebo is down. Can they chase him down? Merlin running on oh, scout behind him. He's uh, leaving <laughs> off the soldier, but with that scout coming up behind him, no chance there, I'm afraid, buddy. And it is going to be wipe. Rocket taking the midpoint. Yeah, pretty much a wipe as well there, Arx. Um, Clockwork got the spawn. He went down so early. Um, Ads, only saving grace is that Ads went down for uh, BFF there, so they, it won't be a complete roll into this last point. Um, I'm just going to see if anyone's running anything ordinary. Marilyn built so late though, I've just noticed that he went, so they're going to have a pretty much a 15% advantage. We always say at the top level teams that they make the most of these advantages even if they're so small, and this is going to be a big test for um, Rocket. Can they get a point on the board? Assuming that Zebaside does not overextend here, and they're defending in the forward spawn with a pyro arcs. Yes, I really, really like and this a heavy, pyro and choice. And a heavy. That, I mean, the heavy choice is pretty standard at defense, but I really, really like the pyro choice because, you're, as you said, they, the top teams they really utilize these small advantages, and that pyro, he can delay them by one or two seconds, which could, if he's looking the right way, which, um, uh, yeah, okay, he is at the moment because they're, they're not pushing in, but um, a pyro can just defend those lost the advantage already. Yeah, they, they have. They, I guess they, they realise it's, it's actually really close. But as the Uber does come in, Heavy is going to force them back out. Oh! Pyro is keeping the Medic up in the air. The Medic is going down. <laughs> and Rival does get Fire Axe as um, well, Axe Extinguisher. And we'll have to see if they push out. Three players are down. Um, they are s two soldiers going round the back of the moment. They have been spotted. And that soldier of uh, Hudson is going to panic it here. But Kade is dealing with QNX and Clockwork takes down Hox. And that means that one player out on the point will get a lot of time on there. I'm not sure if uh, Cookie or Samzi are going to push forward to try and get them off that point. And no, they're unable to. So BFF with the successful defense. Rocket, not the best of pushes. They seem to go in one at a time. Um, Wall was left on his own at the back, so it's your massive main damage dealer. I think the idea one there was there to force it, pull out and recycle yep. and see if they could recycle quicker. Um, but... You know, and if you're unfamiliar with that term, something we started using a long time ago, so it's just pretty much stay alive, save it, save, rebuild the Uber, recycle and push again, just don't go down, and well, it hasn't worked out for them, and look where they are now, they are on a, a mid-fight, pretty much, with Samzi running Sniper, um, here we go, he does get shot on the minute, he misses out on this, soldiers come jumping in, he's absolutely destroyed, Cookie takes down Cadus in the background, but they've oh. lost three players, um, they, they have got lost the three players. Rocket have lost three players, though. Ads did use that. Um, sorry, Marilyn did use that Uber. Ads has to fall back um, up top onto the riverside. Are they going to come out and block arcs? Well, it was a capture point for an Uber. They have American soldier who are going to be pushing out the rest of the team. Need to be on the ball, though, as uh, Starkey was just cutting them off there. The Uber just Forced. being popped wow. now as one soldier has managed to force it off. That's going to swing the Uber advantage in favour again. Um, of BFF and I think they're quite happy with that but they weren't able to capture that point and we'll have to see if uh, Rocket are going to go for a non-Uber versus non-Uber on this mid there is a soldier just going round to try and get that medic down he's going to have to kill him as there's no Uber to force doesn't manage to do so as one scout does get some time on the midpoint but there was a little back cap going on I believe and uh, they they had to deal with that so they've fallen out as BFF now in the ascendancy 25 minutes remaining on the second map Gully Wash step aside oh 10 picks up 2 Cadis could be in trouble. No, he doesn't. He, get, he manages to uh, survive there as well. And they, they forced them all the way back in, Arcs. They forced them all the way back into last. Samzi trying to come out and stop the med pack. Um, War, <laughs> War's just now picking up a four down for BFF. As we see Clockwork eat a massive rocket. Uh, he's surely going to get taken out by the scout. Surely. Wow. Cookie taking his time doing it, but it does take him down. And well, BFF, four players down. Rocket going to be able to retake their second point, assuming they don't walk through that big door arc. 
It was interesting then, Cadus opt to push through and cut off the medic, he successfully did that, but um, great play from Ads, just staying alive, uh, going up top when Cadus went through the bottom entrance. As now they are Uber Uber out onto the midpoint, double rocket jump coming in from Hox as he gets absolutely annihilated by Zeb's great defense of his medic, as now they are pushing out as the Uber is expired. We'll have to see, are oh, Rocket going to try and stay in here? They are getting a lot of Devilman spam. Soldier did jump in the air, but if they lose Druid X, which they've just done, they leave them with no soldiers. Surely they have to fall back now. Devilman in a bit of trouble from a scout, but he's got a scout there for backup and his medic, so they're going to have to fall back, but oh, I wait. think they might have to fall back to last here, because it's a 6v3 scenario with Uber Charge. Haven't really got anyone that can expend to uh, try and force that out, unless a scout wants to try his luck. Don't want to send war again, so uh, it looks like they are surrendering that their second point and well uber versus no uber bff gonna come for this last yeah bff have got to make the most of it and here they come through that main entrance uber is pop scout going straight after that hawk soldier pyro there as well pushing back the combo very briefly nuska's taking him out in the background clockers clockwork as well heavy still on the point they need to get some damage onto the point oh. demo comes around behind him two massive pipes onto the demo by the demo sorry onto the heavy scout on point it looks like it's gonna be stark that wins it and it is stark the only one apart from Merlin still alive and pretty much cleaning up and we have 1-0, 23 minutes remaining. Arx, I don't think my scoreline is going to happen. Well, we'll have to see. It was quite a, a slow round we were going for those. Damage, by the scores. way. Damage, Debesai, 2700. Hox, 2500. It's got to be round two, mate. Take us through. So round two, again, a lot of pressure being put on Cadus by the scout. So they're opting to do that, but Samzi this time plays, pays the price. They're both side going down to the scattergun from Ricky. Uh, three players down, four Rocket is here. Actually, it's three at the moment. We do have Merlin sitting up on top point. Warhol, yeah, really weak going for a bottle, but he really should just be reloading here. As uh, Do they know that he's under the point? I don't think they do. They do now, taking a lot of damage over onto him, but he only took one scattergun shot as from Starkey, and he takes him down. So, BFF sitting on up us. on this point, yeah. and, well, they're capping it. Yeah, trying to build with that reskin Boston Basher as well. Samzi there. Um, don't really want to concede the second point straight away. We'll have a slight advantage, Merlin and uh, Co. I say, but real time, ten percent. Oh, what? Uber's been popped. That must have been a mistake by Merlin. That must have been a mistake. What on earth happened there? I don't know. I didn't see it. Um, Nothing. No one forced it. I think that was a mistake. I think. But the thing is, the question is now. The question is, do BFF or do Rocket? Sorry know that BFF have used their Uber. That's the thing, Ark. So, here we go. We're going to see Rocket play pretty much defensive because they don't know that BFF have used it. QNX is now going out to take a look, probably thinking, what's going on? What's going on? Marilyn only at 55%. Still hasn't been called. They're sending into a couple players and they forced it out. Wow, so they have forced it out of uh, ads. They're going to have a huge advantage now, so they're going to have to come back out and they probably still think maryland has got it, so they're still going to play quite passive here. Here comes Cookie Arcs from that riverside, and uh, they probably still think he's got it. He's gone back in straight away. He is onto Cadus. Cadus coming out huge. Does get taken down, but now, surely Maryland and Nuts, Nets and Zebazai can come back in, surely. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. It's forced. Nice air shot by Nuts as well, using that original. And it's going to be three on three, pushing riverside, maybe. Well, here's the thing. Uh, yeah, Medic went down. Merlin outside, great play there from um, the soldier as he, he jumped out and well, uh, Zerosai was unable to defend him. So, let's see if Rocket are going to be able to chat. They do have a significant uber advantage, I don't see no dirty spies anywhere. Crits so, Marilyn. they are pretty safe to push out for the time being. And yeah, as Beta just said, Crits is going to be coming in. Oh, um, he's in he's trouble here. But actually, say that Merlin's really, really weak. Sticky couldn't quite get around the corner as now he's committed to it. Warha, yeah, jumping out into the open field, Scout sitting behind him, he's going to get taken down, and BFF overextending like a mad here, as Soldier jumps around to try and get the Medic, who just, well, he was back in there, yeah, he <laughs> just went none back of to that, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, with that fourth point, not cap, no time on that, it's going to be a Scout and a Medic with an Uber Budge versus six players here, can they hold it, it off, Soldier's hang on. three seconds, and another three players are spawning, Uber is forced, and, well, BFF happy to just fall out for the time being until that crit Someone went up. below, someone went below, I'm not sure if it's been called, uh, and it is, it's a soldier, it's so Warhead, oh. he hasn't seen him yet! Um, he it. does manage to take him down, and he's surely just going to walk up to this point, no one's going to be able to get down and block the scout! And there we go, Nuts got down below, and uh, well, there we have it.
2-0 the score, 20 minutes remaining. And, ah, again, it seemed like Rocket throwing it away, Arx. I'm, j I'm just going to see the damage very quickly. Warhol, yeah, 1200, Cadus and Nutson take, taking uh, second and third place, respectively. And uh, round three coming out here. Oh, Cadus doing virtually no damage on that mid fight there. His uh, stickies on entry just didn't do anything. I think he probably made the call for BFF to fall out here because, um, well, they're saying that a soldier has got behind and killed Admirable. That might be cool for them to just get this Uber and come straight back in. But, um, yeah, I think that Cadus. Uh, Probably called them for them to get back. They've just lost another soldier. He went for the force. Uh, he went for the pick on Marilyn. I think he went too early. If, if there's no Uber, much easier to force out an Uber than um, to kill the medic. And it, in that sense, it kind of forced Murray oh. to hold it. He drops it anyway as a sniper shot comes in from Samzi from the side, takes down Marilyn. Ouch, I heard that scream from a mile away. As uh, now it does put them in a much better position. They've lost mid, but they are going to have an uber advantage here. And I'm just wondering if, um, well, what the response here is going to be. Are they, they going to be able to push aggressive? Sam is still sitting on that smudge, just covering the uh, flanks, making sure his soldier doesn't get jumped and bombed on. As um, this uber building up quickly. They look like they are coming in through that lower entrance. BFF holding firm for the time being, just with some samba there. They, they already look like they're just about to fall out out of the point any second yeah they know but this delay is pretty much in favor of bff at the moment so waiting for that pick of uh Samsi. i'm still in eyes on him uh looks like bff doing a good job hiding behind that uh crates the moment raw gets picked in the background so uh soldier for demo probably a, a more favorable for bff there and uh Marilyn actually fell all the way out, and he's actually on crits arcs. I didn't realise that. Marilyn is on crits, so let's go. Oh, they're gonna bait it then. Oh. Here we go. Cadence gets Samzi with that crit sticky. Only one, and everyone else falls out, and here comes the Uber charge. That's it. The, uh, I guess the problem is the players aren't in the positions, and BFF know that. They knew that it was just a soldier and a medic around that corner, but there's a lot of spam coming in there now. Soldiers in great work along with Warhol, yeah. Taking down Cadus as he did come in, and Clockworks have also fallen down. Um, they do have one annoying scout sitting behind them. Can Samzi take care of Stark here? Stark very, very weak. Both switch it to pistol. Who's going to win? And Samzi does take him down, which is going to leave only two players alive for BFF. As now Rocket do push in forward. There is a soldier medic sitting up top. Bit of spam coming in there, but they're going to comfortably take this fourth point. And medic demo soldier scout already pushing forward. Players are going to just about spawn. Crits are in. 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 And War goes down straight away. Massive rocket onto Cookie. Did he just survive a full crit? And they're going to keep on firing away, pushing them all the way back. Well played. Good call, probably, for Merrin in there just to use it. And well, Ads has that Uber, though. They're going to have to fall back. And here comes that Uber on. As I just said, Merrin falling back straight in to the uh, med pack area. Just falling back inside. Uh, let them have the point for free. And well, they pretty much surround them now as well. Oh man, this rocket overextending. They can't lose any more here. If the soldier goes down as well, Hawks goes down. It's only going to be Cookie left there. I think Ads fell back to three. Yes, he has. And he is being chased through that big door by a scout. And uh, yeah, not sure if it's going to work. He's <laughs> a <sir. laughs> He's in trouble. I was going to say, he needed a spawn on much quicker. But forward spawn spam coming through onto the. Uh, well, just yeah, Clockwork and Cadus cleaning up those forward spawners. And um, there's a couple of them sitting in that spawn, Pyro, Soldier, Scout, are any of them going to stay there and opt to try and go behind them? They've got quite a long wait. Um, I actually know some of them have changed back to their last spawn. In fact, all of them have. So they're going to be holding on this last thing with no Uber against an incoming Uber. BFF pushing a lot of players forward. In comes the crit. Sorry, I forgot about that. As uh, Crit Sticky's coming in, are they going to be able to do anything with it? No. Don't need it, apparently. He went down, Marilyn got juggled and caught, but uh, three players down for Rocket, they could still push in here, BFF. And that adds gets taken up by a nice peel by Cadus. Only QNX on the lower right point of the uh, lower right area of the point, and there we go, 3 0 the score as we see Clockwork pick up a killing spree as well. Um, 3 0 arcs, 15 minutes remaining. Is it too much again? Zebesai, 2000 damage, QNX, 1800, sorry, and Cadus. Close behind with 1500. Again, it's just that BFF teamwork seems to be doing it. I'm going to follow cl uh, Clockwork onto this point this time. Coming up on the left hand side, seems to be the scouts favouring doing the damage at the moment, posting out those soldiers on the point. 
Um, all turn around and focus that Q and X at the same time. Hox goes down as well. Ward's in trouble here. Ads could go down as well. Cookie comes in to help out. But only four, two players up. Only now one for Rocket. And it's a wipe on that fourth midpoint arcs. Stark is just enjoying this game moment. Uh, four dominations on him. And, uh, well, he cleaned <laughs> up on that midpoint. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see BFF really have to pull something out of the bag here. I don't know if they should be playing more aggressive. They are running Samzi as Sniper again just to try and get that pick. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he is going to pull that off. Uh, he's sitting up in the respawn at the moment, looking over to lobby, gets a shot. They now know the Sniper's there, and, well, they're going to be Ubering very early as they come into this point. They have, yeah. Preemptive Uber. Samzi's forced to go back and change. Is he going to opt for a heavy? No, he's opting for scout as well. Yeah, goes down. No stick. He's on the point. Cadis down in reply though. This is a good defense so far. Rocket just holding on. Soldier goes down. There's just Stark. Four of those dominations are about to disappear. Well, no, they're not. Uh, Merlin is falling <laughs> out somewhere. Where is he? Oh, he's actually waiting on top. He might go for a back cap here. One soldier yep. is waiting. They, they know Merlin, but can he deathmatch this soldier and a demo man on the point? No. I don't think that's a bit ambitious. And, uh, well, he's got to go down here really late as well, I might add. And, uh, well, BFF surely got to carry that momentum forward. I was laughing originally because you said he's going to lose four dominations. It's the only two people he's not dominating. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's amazing. That's amazing. As we see, BFF now coming out to try and contest this third point. Um, I am lagging. Are you lagging, Arx? Yep, that it could be a pause. It uh, looks one of those. Not sure what happened there, <laughs> but uh, three nil the score. Just roughly about fourteen minutes remaining. Um, let's see if we see any funny rockets. Okay, so I see a rocket on the midpoint. Look at it; it's pretty much going to hit wall. Do you reckon it's going to hit him? Uh, let me see where it's been fired from. Um, uh, it's going to hit the wall, no, isn't it? Yeah, that's, it's going to. It might hit floor next to him. If he steps back, we'll see. On he's on but seventy-one. It's, it's, it's going to kill him. It's, it's going to kill him. No, it if he won't he kill him. It, it won't 70. kill him from that range. Well, uh, 70 health, mate. He'll fall and crater. <laughs> is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, oh it did. Yeah, it did kill him. Fine, you got it. You got it. Yes. Fine, yes. killed him. Whatever. Oh, uh, dear. I, I said shenanigans. That was, there was a scattered shot. And this is why you can't play the game anymore, Keith, because you don't know how much uh, damage it does. You know, you can't just stand there and get so shot by rockets. Yeah, I th well. Oh, well. Yeah, it happens. So, right. it looks like uh, <laughs> the game is back underway with slidey players, at least on my screen. As um, Hox gets air shot by Simba Uber is popped to defend. As uh, uh, Rocket arching forward over onto the four point. Scout sitting there. Cadus just sticking up the doorways in the lower entrance. Um, which is quite smart, actually. It's, uh, if anyone is going up top, they wouldn't have been yet there yet. So now he's rotating up to top. And uh, just covering those entrances as BFF. No, no advantage for them, so they're quite happy to sit outside just for a while, but only 13 minutes left on oh, the clock Merlin as Merlin down. goes down. That's the advantage for them as Cookie goes down in response, but I think this is going to force BFF to try and push out on this. I oh, know, are they Are they going to... No, they are They are just turtling back. I guess they fancy their chances at defending with no Uber, and it's not like they, there's clock Uber to force at the moment as well. anyway. Yeah, right, clock so running sniper back left. BFF on the full defense, um, but it looks like they're surely going to pop quite early here. Um, here we go, Demo Man of War coming through the middle, pops very early to see if he can do anything. Done nothing so far, and the Pyro pushed the medic back, and he still hasn't been taken care of. Oh my gosh, this is a wasted Uber, and uh -huh. to shove assault in the wound, uh, Clockwork gets War as he tries to escape, and uh, yeah, we see now see the reason of the pause, but Rocket losing a player to the drop, and of course losing War on that push as well. Yeah, that was... I really am not liking those pushes. They're going in to force an Uber that doesn't exist, and they sent a, just their demo medic in. They, they should have just thrown numbers in there, and they could have kept some of them alive with the Uber. And I mean, what are BFF going to do at that point? It's not like they have anything to keep them alive, apart from sitting in the spawn, and in which case they lose the capture point. So I don't... I think that was just an absolutely failed push. Maybe they had something to do with it, but... Okay, oh, uh, rocket. Comment on what I see is BFF do come in with that Uber over onto the midpoint. One scout just getting a little bit of time up there. But they are pushing ahead to try and get some goals. Flank coming in from Zervosai over onto Demoman Warhai. You're getting juggled about. But he does. Is he going to manage oh. to survive? No. Zervosai sitting in behind them for the time being. And it looks like Rocket have gone to the mid actually just to try and defend that, which means Zervosai sitting over on that 
uh, second, well, forward respawn. Jumping into mid now to try and get the medic down, and he does manage to do so. Actually, that was Nutson and uh, Zebosai who finished him off. BFF in the ascendancy again. There's only one scout alive, and he's about to get annihilated over at that uh, short corridor bit there. So, scouts are on to the fourth point, and BFF just pushing players into last. Yeah, Kalis in the middle, just waiting for his spawn if you want in war. Again, caught by Zebosai. Again, so it's a five second respawn remaining. Zebosai just in that inner area at the moment on the med pack, just making sure no one can come out. Needs to make sure Cadis doesn't get caught here, taking quite a lot of damage from Cookie, but 10 minutes remaining, 3 0 the score. Another point on the board might make it all too much now. We have seen fast rounds, but 4 in 10 minutes. Hox gets taken down, uh, just went for that final pick. Q and X gets taken down as well, so both soldiers down in response. Nutson's taken down, so uh, can BFF just move in and clean up? 5 on 4 at the moment. Might wait, and crits are in, crits are in, I didn't see it. And um, War is in trouble underneath. A scout on him at the moment misses every single pipe and except the last one. <laughs> Finishes clockwork. And will he be able to come in for a block? And he does manage to get a block. Zebazai goes down. Stark goes down as well. Only nuts and left who was that front spawn, um, front spawn or the last spawn as you say. And uh, will he be able to stop the push out now, Ark? So BFF going all or nothing and it's not really worked for them. Just missing out on that air shot. I don't think he's going to escape. No, he doesn't. And uh, Rocket retaking their second. So Clockwork now over onto Warhai again, a nice shot on him, he had a medic with him though, uh, if the medic wasn't there I think Warhai uh, might have gone down, but that is going to prompt a push over into mid, just having that two player advantage. Now as, uh, oh, Cadus jumping all the way back to his base, they are giving up this third point, as, uh, well, they don't really have a choice for it, as, uh, just getting all healed up and waiting to defend, but... Rocket are going to take over this Stark. Point. Stark running sniper, gets a shot onto war as he came through that middle area. Mirrorland is still running crits at the moment, misses the final shot on the scout. Um, in fact, does get a hit on the scout as he's finished off by clockwork. Clockwork oh, going to work on um, Cookie. Crits are in, crits are in. Cadence up top. Massive air shot onto the soldier goes flying. Willie Crater, no, he doesn't. Hawks goes down. Q and X, only the last one up, who is actually in a sneaky, sneaky position up top. But he has been called straight away though. Drops down, gonna try and escape to run away. Might create on the way down. He pretty much doesn't. But Zebasai uh, comes in and finishes him off with that cheeky shotgun just as he landed. Yeah, but that's his BFF again taking back this point. Rocky just unable to break them down going from that fourth to that last CP. Um, as well, Zebosai goes down, leaving Merlin a bit stranded. He has been caught, hooked up again with his two scouts. As Soldier of Hawks does jump in, but those scattergun shots combined shot. with an air pipe there. Annihilating him and well BFF again with a huge advantage. Crits are be as well. pushing through. Yeah, it's gonna be brutal. It's gonna force players back into the spawn and, and uh, or just to jump around. But uh Samzi goes down to the pipes. There goes a rival to another one. Is it gonna be a triple kill here for Cadus? No, Stark gets the other kill and 4-0 is the score with only eight minutes remaining. It might be out of reach now. Neither of us guessed five nil though, did we? No, well that's that's the boring one, that's that's the cop out score, isn't it? <laughs> so if you have just joined us, this is the second map of Eve 2 F2 L season eighteen between Rocket and BFF. We are the Nerds of these Arcs and Beta with Ari on the stream. This is round five coming out. Yukadis goes down straight away by Sanzi and Cookie. A little bit too aggressive this time. They're gonna be able to get through that choke point. And Cookie has managed to get behind immediately. Um, and he's pretty much sitting on that fourth point already. Maybe a slightly different strat this time from BFF trying to uh, try something new. 4-0 the score, that is the time to try it, Arx. Yep, it is. As, uh, well, they are pushing through now. There is still that sniper Ooh. Starkey coming out with a shot over onto a cookie Draw. there. Merlin does go down as well. And uh, BFF may be able to get that round on the board now. Only three players alive, but they've only got a scout and a medic themselves. And there's a sniper out there, which means the medic doesn't okay. want to show his head. Can Samzi take down Clockwork here? Clockwork wants that med pack. Is he going to be able to get it? He does sneakily pick it up, but Samzi coming in with a meat shot. Doesn't matter if you're full health, he's still going to one hit you. As uh, the two scouts and medic to be pushing forward, they realize time is against them now. And uh, they just get some nice time on this fourth point. Kadis just up top, firing a few stickies out there just to soften them up. But are BFF going to commit and try and hold this? It looks like they still want to hang around. Oh, two kills. Start. Start getting War and Cookie uh, there. Samzi on his own. <laughs> not much he can do. Do have that Uber. Where are they, Arx? On their midpoint. 
Is it going to be forced? And it is forced. Great play by Nutson and uh, our Q&A. They've got to go for it. Surely Rocket got to go for it. On to Maryland. This is the first shot. Clockwork and Zemside taking care of him. And adds all on his own in our medpack area. Rejoin with his scout. And he'll t need to build fast. Samsy running sniper well, as well okay, now, by the way. Medic here. Is he going to be able to? No, he's not. He had to put on the drop down menu. Oh, but Ricky with a, a scat gun shot does manage to finish him off. Just having a look at that defense there, but that is uh, three players down for just the medic. Four players down for just the medic. Five players down for just the medic. It's not looking <laughs> good for them as BFF captured this fourth point. Two players can try and hold on to this last, but soldiers coming in to just put some damage out on them. As a uh, sniper is still shooting, it can start get another kill before the end of this game. No, he cannot. And GGs are being exchanged. BFF taking the second map 5-0, and wow, six points in ETF 12 for them. Yeah, six points. So this has been the second map ETF 12 season 18. Balance of Eats, Arx and Beta. First time in eight months we've been around. Ari doing the hard work on the stream. Let's just have a look at that a final damage arcs before we uh, sign off. Let's have a look. So. Right, let me find the logs. Um, someone link me to the logs, please, because it's impossible to find them on here. I'm, I'm literally just refreshing the page and trying to look down. Here we go, got them, boom. Okay, top damage, who's your bet on, Arx? What, on that map? Yeah. Um, Adis. Oh, on, on Badlands, mate. Oh, uh, <laughs> idiot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Cadis. That map we just played was Badlands? Gullywash. Yeah. Trying to uh, trick it. <laughs> Sebasai. Wow, again? Sebasai, 10k. Cadus, a measly 8k. A measly 8k. Interesting. Uh, war, <laughs> war, 9.3. And uh, in fourth, and but not final place, we have, I believe it is, if I can do my maths correctly, da 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 da. It is, it looks like QNX, actually, yeah. QNX just beating Nutson. But. Oh, the most important question is who did the most damage with the medics? Uh, Marilyn, of course. Yep, double, double admirable. <laughs> double admirable. Uh, that's one, two, six, mate. Double, mate. Oh, that's crazy. That's that in on that soldier. Oh, no, that was Granary. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> but, I mean, I know we usually say the game by uh, medic deaths, okay? But uh, let's have a look at the deaths of each medic. This is going to be surprising you, okay? Who do you think died least? Admirable. Correct. Yeah. You said it's going to surprise me. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, they're both you kind of gave it literally, away there. Mate, literally, Marilyn by one kill. Uh, one death, sorry. So uh, okay. So yeah, it's, that's, that's it's really close. close. Clockwork but again, by could, the way, uh, racking up the kills with Zebazai. Could it be and though, Stark, the, Stark, the, the Weezy, play... Stark 29, sorry. Sorry, could Stark. It be the passive play... <laughs> could it be the, the passive play from Admirable? Um, you know, he, he might have died less, but that could mean that he's out of the fights for longer, so maybe less healing. Um, which... Let's have a look at the hills. Yeah, good question. I mean, I, I'd, ex I, I'd expect him to deal less slim because uh, his team would have been dead for longer and BFF uh, would have had more ubers and just more healing in general, but it's, it's kind of how big a gap would stay, does staying alive mean? Because if, if you're a bit of a suicidal medic, that means you're in there supporting your team, or it could just mean you get caught a lot. Most of the time it means that you are in amongst the fight and you're dealing, you're putting out a lot of heals and some sometimes it keeps a player alive and it's just you you've got bigger numbers just because of it yeah Marilyn just doing slightly more heals by the way um only only just i mean literally 500 <laughs> so it's it's, it's yeah, not much in it again as well, and Marilyn Marilyn dropped only once and ads didn't drop at all okay well then uh, to be honest Adam the medic battle, right there. And as far as I'm concerned, because Merlin should have uh, should have had a lot more healing. In a five-zero scoreline, you should have a lot more healing, not just five hundred. You should have a lot more. And, and the fact that he also dropped. Yeah, and he didn't use crits at all. So not not pointing the finger, of course. It's just different things to analyze. But we we will let you analyze the logs fully. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for joining in. We know you always have a choice. So. Uh, Obviously not for the last time, but it's been a while. So we have been <laughs> the Nilla TVs, Arx and Beta, with Ari on the stream, bringing you none other than Rocket versus BFF. E2F12 Season 18 Week 1 catch-up on Granary <laughs> and Gullywash. Um, let us know your thoughts. If you want to see us again in Castmore, you've got to tell us, because otherwise my wife doesn't believe me. Um, yeah. Anyway, 
And uh, by the way, send us to Jigs Jigs Jigsaw Land. Love you. Bye. Uh, Jigsaw fundraiser. Jigsaw fundraiser. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. But yeah, hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Sweet. We got Samza here. Okay. Cool. Impromptu interview. We. <laughs> um, okay. So Samzy, five nil, five nil. What? What? Yeah. What? What's going on? Um, I don't know. Like, I didn't expect that much. Of, like, I don't. I expected to to lose both clubs. To be honest, like. I think it would be dumb of us to actually believe we would take points in this matchup. But yeah, well played by them. Yeah, they have a good game. So I'm, I'm getting loads of messages from people, like people like Arx, saying, Sam's you've got the least damage, why do we want to interview him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 I haven't said I'm that. I'm Beta, you could be trolling. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, that's, that that's okay. Nah. M maybe next time. Yeah, that's yeah, it. it looks like they're a little bit more organised, especially on Granary. Um, they are more organised than any map, honestly. Like, we have no idea what we're doing, and anybody that believes that we will be like a big team this season must be fucking dumb, honestly. We're just in because they need a team to play. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. No, that's fair enough. I'm, people, I'm sure people would appreciate you trying at least. I mean, you guys. It's not a complete roll. Five nil is just a complete roll, but everyone knows it's a little bit closer. You know, it goes nah, to two. It is a roll, like, nah, nah, it's no... twenty-five minutes. So, to be honest, a roll, though, mate, is losing five nil in ten minutes. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> it's, it's, like the the score line is, for, especially on Gully Wash, there were enough opportunities to get points on the board. It just yeah, there was no, a failed yeah, point. That first from... round, that first round, what on yeah. earth happened? I don't know. We're just not good at pushing. Like we usually can win a lot of medals because we can maybe just DM it there, but if it goes to I mean, the last push we just choke horribly. Yeah. If you if you want the advice of, from someone who hasn't played competitively for three <laughs> years, then all I'd say is from my perspective what I could see was that the push with just the medic and demo man wasn't working. It, yeah, I, that, I, understand I was the whole... right behind him and timed out in that moment. I don't know if you, it, if you caught that. It, it always just seemed that there were two players in there and, and BFF just had so much control. It just said, oh, well, only two of them came in. Oh, we'll just bounce you up and down with a pyro for a bit and then you can fall out and nothing gets done. And I was, I, I said, just like, one time I was screaming like, where's the rest of the players? They haven't even got yeah, but it's like we have there. We have no coordination. Honestly, we're just going in and try to the image. Like, there's no plan or anything. Like, our mm -hmm. plan is, yeah, let's go in and force. And then we have like four people dying on the flank. Like, that's our, yeah. our way of playing, really. <laughs> That's, that sounds like any team that I've been in ever. That's that's how we played. Yeah, pretty it's, much. Someone, I mean, whoever was alive like... would make the call. That was our usual motto. Yeah. <laughs> that, because they can see the most. It was like, right, everyone yeah. push. Spawn and push. It used to seem to work quite a lot until, like, the TCM, TCM F buddies started rolling out two demo man. Hey, bite. Are you yeah. listening now, bite? Ruined tier I think he's on holiday, me. but... Ah, okay. Yeah, right. it did. Uh, it was over. Anyway. We will maybe grab points against Saints and Lazy Pandas, but I think that's pretty much it for us this season. Because I think we can just DM them on any point, but against the rest of the team, so you probably won't be good. I like your positive attitude, it sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, uh, just being realistic, only like, given the time we actually put in, like we play like two times a week, sometimes even three times, but that's like officially included. And it's not like we're talking over stress or something. We pretty much meet up at eight, play for maps, and then nobody talks to each other anymore. <laughs> like it's just like a, a job that you have to do. So Prem Division doesn't look completely eight because we don't have enough teams. That's it. Welcome to real life, my friends. <laughs> I came. I came home from work, went to the gym. I come back and make dinner, then I cast because. Also, and then I'm just gonna go to the gym again because he's hench. What a monster! I've got to start building again. Five fifty two. Dude, even I've been going to the gym. Exactly. See, if the day you're bigger than me, Ark, the day that's I already it. am. I'm massive. Uh, that's it. I'm not going. <laughs> Carmen's gonna be bigger than both of us by then. By the way. Yeah, probably. Apparently, Pledge has been working out. He's Pledge lost that's, a lot that's of weight. What I was reading. Yeah, yeah he lost a lot he's of weight. Gonna be burst. Exactly. I mean, muscle, or not. <laughs> Justice is gonna show up and just destroy us all. Yeah, exactly. Right, short Pledge. <laughs> right, Samsey, thank you for joining us. Any shout-outs, my friend? Um, yeah, shout out to Redrug. Why? Because he's the best guy I've ever met in TF2. True homo. Sweet. So when war there we go. War leaves for Epsilon, are you going to uh, recruit Redrug yeah, for a demo? Yeah, I think we have to wait another two and a half years for Redrug to come back from army, and <laughs> then we're going to make a new super team here. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. I see it. 2016 <laughs> form. 
Are you gonna uh, go and turn up? Are you gonna go I sixty one? I six. Yeah, we maybe we could. Like we need a, a good that, sponsor though, because Retro still lives oh, yeah. in Israel. But yeah, <sighs> Israel will be like free country by then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ari got some. Uh, there's a pledge on the stream that I just saw. Um, I, I don't know because because one on the right. I, I'm watching our stream like because I was in the chat just so I could see the comments and stuff. Like and, uh, person, the stream's though. got. Picture. Well, I don't know because the picture on the right, he's cut off the sides of Pledge, so we can't see him. Yeah, no, nah, Pledge definitely looked better. His face is so thin. He yeah. actually, he looks, he looks good. Well, well done, Pledge. Well done. There, yeah, sweet, sweet. Right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you, Samsy, for joining us. Um, good games, unlucky this time. Next time, you'll get them. Positive <laughs> attitude, my friends. Uh, yeah. This has been Villain TV's Arx and Beta with Rocket versus BFF. Ari on the stream are doing the hard work. Thank you very much for joining in, and uh, we will see you soon. Give us some feedback. GXL fundraiser. Bye. Bye. Bye.